Hello everyone, this is Fulgin channel and welcome to another tutorial on 3ds Max. It's been a while since I did some tutorials on my channel, so I have decided to come back and teach you what I have learned so far. So today, we are going to talk about uh, tie flow, as you can see in this scene, it's a wood bridge. So, as you can see here, if we press animation play, you can see some movements, real movements, in real time. So I'm going to show you how to do that stuff. So let's get started. Alright guys, now we have the scene already been prepared, so we have a couple of supplies over here, it will be act as a robe, and we have the, some clomens, it will be static woods, and we have some woods over here, it will be act as a rigid body. Okay, so first thing, create a tie flow, go to the open editor, let's just move it here, the side, and select both supply, move it up to the space, and let's go and select all the vertical supplies. All right. And add to the select. And hide them from the scene. As you can see, it's been created some dots over here. And we need to increase these dots in order to make them closer to each other. And let's just say maybe around three. I think this is, go this is going to be enough. All right. Second thing, press tab on the keyboard. So we can have the shortcut search to the item that you need to put in the event. So let's search for a shape. Add it to the scene. And go down to the mesh. And we want to make 3D mesh over here. And select sphere low resolution. Still nothing shows on the screen. Just go back to display and change small dots to geometry. Okay, as you can see here, it's already created some spheres. Just we need to increase the size of these spheres, just in case. Variation, we need it to be zero. And let's just say maybe around 150, maybe 200. Yeah, that should do. Now, we will add another event, and that one called physics shape. Okay, we need to add it here, back here. And physics shape, actually, it's going to make the spheres act as a rigid body. When you move the timeline, it's going to move. Oh yeah, as you can see here. Now we need to add a physics bind. Look for physics bind. What physics bind actually does is that it's going to make a glue between any closer objects between each other. So that's why we have this result of you move the timeline. As you can see, it's calculating here. Let's go to the end, and let's see. Hold on a little bit. Yeah, now let's hit play. And that's the result that we are looking for. Okay, we are doing fine. All right, now we need to copy this event for the horizontal supplies, the one on the scene. Okay, so we will add another birth spline above the old one. Just make sure the spline list has already been cleared okay now select all the lines out of the scene and add them the reason I didn't put them together because the horizontal spline it's taller than the splines in the vertical way so that's why I made another one sorry for my English anyway <laughs> so let's uh, put the percent something around 1% and let's see if the glue already works with all these splines that we are being created. Let's put the line to the end, 100. And let's just wait for the calculation. And here we are, we have this result. Yeah. That's the result that I'm looking for. Alright, that's good. Let's go to the second event. We still have unfinished business with it. And rename it to something like event 2. So we don't want to mess with the other event. Just keep that one away. And we need to put another event called surface test. Select that one. And keep it right there. And one more event. That one called physics switch. Okay. And connect the surface test to the physics switch. And change the deactivated to treasure. Now. Let's go back to the distance. Now we need to select all these clomens. 
and add them to this list in surface test okay and go to the distance and select volume inside and probably should be works yeah as you can see here if any object that closer to the cloman it will be stuck to it so that's why we have this result okay let us work with the remaining objects select the woods from the scene okay and go back to the tie flow menu and this time we will add something called birth object and add them to the selected menu and here we are we have a couple of uh, objects being created by tie flow okay now let's go back here and select physics shape all right let's test the timeline okay as you can see here now the rope is not sticking to the woods so in order to make this one works we will add another physics bind so let's go and select physics bind okay now let's see if this is works okay things works good but still we have a lot of works to do as you can see here I think the problem is the gap between these spheres and the box it's a little bit closer unlike the other way so what we'll have to do here is go to the physics bind and go down a little bit over here and from this menu we are going to increase the max bind to something like 8 what this one actually do it's going to increase the glow between those objects so let's see now if this works all right and now we have the result that we need perfect now last step we need to make these objects act as a rigid body so add another birth object add to the selected all right okay now add the physics shape and now let's see how things works all right as you can see the result over here it's fine but it's a little bit heavier so let's go back to the physics shape and change the mass value to something like 0.1 and let's go back and see yeah I think this works good okay one last thing we need to do for this phase is make them one mesh so go back to the first event and look for supplying path that one is going to make for us as a mesh now go to the supplying path properties and change to the second option and create the spline all right still nothing shows let's go to the modifier select the spline that's been created before and select this icon and it will be appear okay now we have the mesh already been created now let's go down and change some stuff go to the radius and let's change that one maybe around five maybe less okay three and go down just a little bit and change by not age and now let's see the result if this is works fine yeah things works good and now create the mesh for the rest of these spheres go to the second one again look for the spline path do the same thing and let's put that one something around three all right and by not h and that's it and here we are okay guys thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed my video please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and active the alarm bell okay thanks again and take care